Now there should there are going to be days, a succession of days at times where you don't actually consummate every night. But it doesn't mean it's off the table. It just means either you tired, I'm tired. Mm-hmm. There's a mutual understanding that you done fell asleep first. Mm-hmm. I was on it. It's over. Yeah. But but it would used to be that I would feel somewhat rejected mm-hmm. when you might fall asleep. And not that I'm this, you know, person that's seeking it all the time, but I know sex is supposed to be on the table. Right. And then for you to be asleep, I'm thinking, he don't want me? What? Why? What's wrong? Am I not desirable to him? So then there will be the questions, mm-hmm. you know. What's going on? You, you, you know, what's going on? You know, those insecure questions. Mm-hmm. Um, so there may be times when you have to talk about, you know. Yeah. What was going on last night, or you know, you good tonight, or you you know, how you feeling? Um, and that's that that just keeps in mind that we have to keep talking, you have to keep communicating about everything. Sex is not off the table where you don't talk about it, you have to talk about it if it's something, um, that you want to have. You you have to kind of have some kind of conversations about it, just like you do with anything else. Yeah, and part two of prioritizing sex is. Even though that monthly, you know, friend comes, there's still other things that can be done. That's part two. I got you, fellas. <laughs> yeah, just because, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, yes, yes. That's part two. Yes. <laughs> so we're not going to talk about that right, right now. But yes, absolutely. But prioritizing making love is important and like I keep saying it should just be on the menu already it's not something that we elect to bring in mm-hmm. it is just on the menu at all times we don't take it off the menu we don't substitute the menu items it is what it's supposed to be mm-hmm. and so there are again days and maybe a succession of days that you don't actually fully engage but it doesn't mean that it, it has taken, it has fallen off the menu. You still need to get in there. And the, and the other part is that it's so enjoyable. It is so enjoyable when you can, when you work together to learn what it looks like, what it feels like, and, and your partner is, is growing in areas that, you know, maybe they weren't before, or you growing in areas that you weren't before. And, just to see the beauty of it coming together because where you may have started in the beginning, I mean, after years, things get better and more succinct and more um, concise and more uh, customized, you know, Mm -hmm. I would say more customized. um, And, and it doesn't get old. You know, I know people say, well, how you you get married and you you just having sex with the same person over and over and over again. But, I haven't found that it gets old. Mm-hmm. No, I don't find that it gets old. I find that you become more desirable to me, yeah. you know, as the days go on. When you, I was looking at you yesterday, I was like, whoa, boy, you is fine. <laughs> you is fine. And I could feel myself just getting, getting in my head about, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, so. And also, you know, before we close out that it doesn't have to be at night when you get ready to go to bed it could yeah. be in the first thing in the morning yeah. I mean as we know you know your schedule can be crazy yeah. so yeah. you know that you know you could be working the second or the third shift or you could be working on you know your business and grinding hard trying to promote that and so the nighttime is not the ideal time but there's morning there's afternoon Woo. You know, there's before evening and stuff like that. You may have five, ten minutes. Hey, come on, off the head, you know, and then you just <laughs> get it together and you make it happen. Yes. And, you know, whatever works for you, but whatever works needs to be consistent. Mm-hmm. And if it's not consistent, then that inconsistency needs to be communicated and talked about yeah. so that you guys can understand, hey, I ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. My head is not nowhere else, and yours is not either. It's just this is what's going on. Okay, I understand. I got you. So, you know, let me know how I can, you know, help or adjust my schedule to meet our needs. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Well, I think we have talked a little bit about that. And if you have any more questions, if we want to, if you want us to expound a little bit more, we didn't go to some areas that you felt like you would like to hear. Definitely drop us a line on notheartlybroken at gmail.com. 
um, and let us know. And we would certainly try to uh, give great consideration to adding that to our content. Like, share, and subscribe. We can do more when we have more subscriptions and we can reach more when we have more followers and more subscribers. So until next time, this is Not Hardly Broken signing off. And we'll see you soon.